Hi everyone, Exo Man here, and I have something really cool to show you today. This this is for all you ladies. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. This is actually for anybody who's interested in this. Um, I have, as you know, Farm Girl and I are not. Would you? We're not hippies, that's for sure. Uh, if we are, we're pretty conservative. Justin hippies. said we're hippies. Huh. Well, <laughs> um, Anyway, we're into kind of holistic stuff, if you will, and we're health conscious, basically. Yeah. And uh, we don't we don't use medicines. We don't we stay away from doctors and medications and things like that as much as we can. And we also stay away from crap that's not good for our body. And I probably haven't used antiperspirant in maybe thirty some years. I I've used that crap in the past that you roll or spray under your arms that stuff is really bad for your body you know and a perspirant and deodorant those things you just put this is a bad place to put chemicals like that under your arms so what I've done for many years now is I've used zinc oxide and that's what that just is plain old zinc oxide that's, yeah that's powdered zinc oxide and how I how I do let me tell you this first of all zinc like this zinc oxide inhibits growth of bacteria and mold and fungi and things like that um, it's a known fact and in, in, in fact builders use zinc strips on rooftops have you ever seen roofs shingled roofs that are or roofs that are covered with algae well it's because of rainfall and mold growth and if you put a zinc strip along your ridge, the rain hits that zinc strip and as the water goes down, it carries that zinc and it kills and inhibits any growth on your roof. So that's a good trick for you people who are building new homes or renovating old homes. Zinc also under your arms inhibits growth. Thank you. <laughs> and let me show you how to nice do it. Exercise. You see that? Oh, like, like a little, little water? A little holy water dab. So you take this, not only is it not bad for you, but it's good for you. And I, it, it's kind of tricky, you gotta get the hang of it. You rub some on this hand, on your fingers there. Make sure, these little crumbles, make sure you don't get those locked up under your arm, because what those will do is cause little abscesses. You want powder, you don't want, you don't want particulate, you don't want chunks of zinc under your arm. Trust me, I've done it before that way. And I've had little ab big abscesses under my arms. I don't know why it does that, but it does. But this is very healthy for you, very safe. And I take it like that with a little wetness, and I rub it under my arm. You see, does it look powdery now? Mm hmm Okay. Now we do the same thing with the other side. Let's see, take it on this finger, these fingers, and rub it on those. Make war paint. And I rub it from about here to here and get it all in there. And I have all this hair. And before I did this, many years ago, I used to get weird little things in my hair. It was almost like little beads of fat or mold or something under there. Because all day sweating and having your arm closed, I never get anything like that anymore. Weird buildup on the hair. All that stuff is killed. It might have been from that antiperspirant. No. Uh, it was it was build up. It would just start appearing, you know. Even I'm bathing and washing, you know. I didn't scrub under there, but it was just a weird, odd substance. Anyway, so when I do this, this is the most effective thing for odor mm -hmm. that I've ever used. It does work. It works for days. It's now, pretty I put, amazing. I put this much zinc under my arm. And I don't have to do this for four days, three or four days, and I can take Stick a shower. Stick them up. Hmm? <laughs> Stick them up, Exo. So, as long as nice. I don't, when I shower, if I don't scrub under there with soap and, and water and scrub, that zinc's not coming off. It stays in, locked into my skin. And if I do shower and I wash with soap, then I just reapply a zinc. But do it, do it, do it sparsely at first. Try it a few times. I, I can almost guarantee you, if you have funky underarm smell, mm -hmm. this will kill it. <laughs> Yeah, it really does work. My gut sucked in enough. Yep. Sorry. Looking good. That's my little trick. I tried to whistle. Uh, and I had hey, like, I, I, I've had it in this little dish for years. And then just wash your hands off. 
and you're good to go. Now, it won't keep you from perspiring. Which is good, because you want to perspire because you get rid of toxins that yeah. way. With, with everything like that, it's, it's a trade, it's a trade-off, risk versus benefit. When you shut down your sweat glands under your arms, I just don't think that's good for you. Because that's the way you get toxins out of your body. And a tip for people who, who are concerned about sweating in the summertime and having wet pits, wear a freaking t-shirt. If you wear a button down, wear a white button t-shirt under it, uh, what is it, a v-neck t-shirt, mm -hmm. and just button your top button up over the v-neck, and you won't see those pit sweat, that, those pit stains as much. Anyway, I hope that helps some of you. Thanks for watching, everyone.